Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Clark Crew Reviews. I'm rolling solo again. It's school night, so my partners in crime are in bed. But I wanted you, I wanted to give you my thoughts on the second episode of Black Lightning, right? I'm a little behind still. I know I keep saying I'm gonna post the videos, but I got a lot of shows that I watch. There's a lot of stuff I like to review and being on top of it and having a full-time job with kids is kind of hard. Posting videos is my only thing. I might be more prompt. But anywho, this episode, I mean, it was interesting, man. Black, Black Lightning still in the early, early stages of development, but it's... It's not bad though, like, when you watch Black Lightning, because another episode comes out tomorrow and I've watched a third one as I haven't did a video on it. When you watch Black Lightning, you would feel like these characters or these actors have been in this role for a little bit longer than three or four episodes. Like, they're, they're comfortable in the role. But this episode, the second episode of the season, you know, it starts off, Jefferson Pierce is having a little bit of effects of being an old man. He's sore the next night after going out whooping ass on there. And his wife goes in the kitchen and kind of helps him out. Tries to, you know, um, console him a little bit. But she's still bothered by the fact that he wants to become Black Lightning. He's still dealing with, you know, the effects of the 100 in the neighborhood as a community leader and activist. So one of the parents, one of her daughter has been kidnapped. Tells the police and him they're not doing a good enough job, which is understandable, especially if you're a parent. Something happens to see your kid, you're gonna be frustrated, worried, scared, panicked, you know, depressed. Especially if you feel like people aren't doing their best to try to help you out. But you know, it goes through. It's, it's called Lawanda. So Lawanda's giving up. You know, she's saying what she has to say. Then you get to uh, the albino Negro, as I like to call him, Tobias Wells, and. He's doing his boss level stuff, you know, with Allah and telling him he better handle it. But the majority of the episode is kind of going back and forth between Jefferson Pierce. Do he, does he trust the cops or does he just do it himself as Black Lightning? And his wife, you know, she seems to think that he was addicted to his powers. He said he wasn't, you know, it's just about helping people, you know what I mean? So... But I like the I like the part of the episode when he confronted Allah in front of his boys. Like he tried to walk up as a man, he almost had a gentleman in a suit. But Allah and his boys snug him and punched him. He almost blew him all away. I would like to see him do that one time. But if he does that, he's going to give away his secret identity, and we don't want that. We don't want that at all. We don't want that. And then you get a little sneak peek of his daughter. You know, she. Uh, I didn't I didn't know she was a lesbian until this happened. But cool. Her and her girlfriend are having problems, and that's going to, I imagine, come into play down the road throughout the season on there. And then you get the spot where <laughs> he lives right by the cop. He wants to check on him and reassure uh, Pierce that they're doing everything they can, you know. A lot of this blows his cousin's brains out. And then Luan is not listening to anybody, and she's trying to take pictures of these drug dealers and these members of the 100, and Jefferson warns her that it's not going to be good for her. She goes against his, his uh, better judgment, and Allah blows her chest out. It was sad. It was, like, no remorse. He just pulled the gun out. Okay. Bye, bye, bye. Like, damn. Okay. <laughs> His younger daughter's going through things, too. She got to go on, you know, got a little boyfriend and things like that. And on the next episode, you kind of see how that plays out. But, you know, this is the breaking point for him to where, you know, he finds out that Luana got killed. And he's trying to do things the politically correct way and use his sway as a community leader. It's not working. So he felt like he failed her and he couldn't save her that way. So it goes back to Black Lightning, which is more effective than usually. So he goes in, you know, does a little bit of investigating with the older white guy. They're trying to figure out where Allah's at. And then 
I like he's in the, the hotel suite and he walks in and the, the uh, doorman like Black Lightning, my man. <laughs> he opens up and just sells him out. No, he's on the top floor. So <laughs> he says him to take care of business, which I like. And he whooped everybody on the way up. And then finally he gets him, he whoops him, he turns him in. And the inspector is shocked like it's Black Lightning. You know, he says, Inspector. So he knows it's really Black Lightning. I, I'm suspicious if the inspector knows who Black Lightning is. If he doesn't and he finds out, I imagine it's going to be, you know, a divide in the road for his morales as a police officer. Does he still do his job or does he scold and protect his friend? That's going to be an interesting dynamic down the road. But yeah, he turns in Allah and then uh, you go to his older daughter. She's at the convenience store is getting robbed and she throws the guy over the aisle. From one aisle to another. So clean up an aisle three. She threw him from aisle two to aisle three. I believe she's thunder. I believe she's thunder. So this is the second episode where you got a taste of her powers on there. Then it finishes out by uh, Tobias Wells. Go whale, whales, whatever. He goes in and he chokes out of death with one hand. So I'm like, <laughs> is this Negro super strong or? I don't know. But no, it was it was a good episode, like I said. So far, I like Black Lightning. I mean, the special effects were on par with the rest of the CW. It's a little more down to earth. Um, it got to black people in it, you know what I'm saying? I support black actors. Representation is a big thing in art. So you can relate to something more when it kind of symbolizes or reminds you of yourself or kind of looks like you. It's important, you know? And like I said, these... I think these characters are jumping into their roles quicker, getting more comfortable in these roles quicker than some of the other series are. Like, there'll be times where uh, Legends of Tomorrow and Supergirl are, you know, it, it's a little corny and the line sound rehearsed, you know, but so far, I mean, they had that with uh, Black Lightning. But uh, I'm gonna do my best to catch up with my other videos, guys. It's just. It's not my only, it's, this is my my hobby, it ain't my job, so I don't have time for it, so please forgive me. And typically I got my partners in crime with me. So let me know down in the comments section if you enjoyed my review of Black Lightning Season 1, Episode 2. While you're on my channel, like my video, share my video, and subscribe to my channel. It's not going to hurt you to subscribe to my channel. I usually got me, my daughter, and my son made his debut in one of my other videos. We try to give y'all some good stuff every now and then. So if I get a notification that you subscribe to me, I will subscribe back to you. But if the playlist is private or your subscription private, I don't see it, I'm sorry. But game recognized game, I'll get you if you give me, all right? So next time, try to post some more stuff for y'all tomorrow. Y'all be easy. Peace.